What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. I figured I would do a little bit of vlogging today because I have a performance. It's like not serious or whatever. It's like basically how it was described to me was like musical Mad Libs. So like I am supposed to bring whatever song I want to sing and they're gonna like heckle me on purpose and it's gonna be funny i hope <laughs> i hope it doesn't make me forget the words um yeah but it's in person which will be the first time that i have performed in person since february march of 2020. i figured it would be you know just a good idea to kind of dip my toe back in the water it's been a while now um i feel like it's it's definitely different, like singing in your bedroom versus singing in an audition versus singing like in person in front of people. You know, it's just you think the pressure won't affect you, but it always does. So I don't know. I think it will be a good idea to just kind of see where I'm at in a low pressure, <laughs> zero stakes setting. <laughs> So I am gonna start my day with a little physical activity so I am not bloated in my outfit. So I'm pretty sure they have this in other major cities as well, but here in New York we have public bicycles called City Bike. And once you sign up on the app, which is completely free to do, you will get an interactive map that shows you all of the available bikes in the city. And as you can see here, it looks like there are some right on the edge of Central Park, which is perfect because you don't have to worry about your own bike getting stolen and it's super affordable. So let's go. so sweaty what's up guys i just biked for like 40 minutes and then ended up getting lost on the upper east side so now i just walked the entire width of central park back to the upper west side because it's just easier to get home that way but in the process of doing that i lost my freaking mask so now i have to go find like a convenience store or something to go get one i can't get on the subway without it so this has just turned out to be very eventful <laughs> okay thankfully they let me in to cvs to get <laughs> these masks so hopefully i don't lose them because i literally have like eight million masks at home so now i am on the subway to go home and get ready for my show i also made a little coffee run got a little espresso con panna nectar of the gods the barista accidentally made me two though so i <laughs> I might die. I might have a heart attack if I drink both of these, especially since I have not eaten today. Um, it's a bad idea, but am I gonna drink it anyway? Probably. Oh my God, there's a mosquito in my room that has tr been trying to suck my blood literally all morning. I'm trying to smack the shit out of it. It's on the window. I would show it to you, but then you would know where I live. No! It's trying to land on my bed, get away. It's out to get me. Can they smell people? Like, how does it know that I'm in here? Stop it. It's trying to like stealth attack me. Get the fuck away. I don't know if I'm like allergic to mosquitoes or what, but I get the worst reaction to their bites. Like, it's not even that I'm scared of it. It's that I'm pissed that it's trying to bite me. Here it is. It landed where I can't reach it. I'm about to spray it with poison. Does roach spray kill mosquitoes? We're about to find out because I'm tired of this motherfucker. Prepare to die, bitch. Okay, I don't know if it's dead or not, but I don't have time for this bullshit. So I need to get ready for my gig. It's two o'clock and I have to be out the door by five o'clock at the latest. If I come back in here and I see it floating around, it's about to be World War III. I hate mosquitoes. Charity fashion. I'm running late. I really need to leave the 
apartment now because whatever time the GPS tells you, this is like a New York hack, whatever time the GPS tells you you're gonna get there, you can go ahead and double it. There will always be a subway delay or some sort of tomfoolery to make you late. The GPS is saying that it's gonna take me 25 minutes to get to Penn Station. So we're gonna go ahead and make that an hour, which means I need to leave now. But my twist out isn't dry yet. Literally, this is the problem with having super, super thick hair. Like normally it's a blessing, but I'm not gonna lie, wash day is kind of a pain in the ass, but my hair was so filthy, I couldn't not wash it. I literally don't even have makeup on. I have my makeup in my bag because I just don't have time. I'm gonna have to do it when I get there. This is very much chaotic vibes. This whole day has just been very much chaotic vibes and I don't appreciate it. I do not appreciate Satan trying to throw me off of my vibe. But this is my outfit. I bought this little camisole thing and then I never actually wore it. And then my necklace is all tangled, but that's that. And then I've got some jeans and some heels. I kind of want some earrings, but I don't really have any that go with this, so it's gonna have to be what it is.
tired, you guys. I literally, the freaking trains were mismatched because of maintenance. So I literally, it took me like two hours to get home. And it normally takes me like 45 minutes. So that was cute. Um, yeah, that, I did it. I performed in person and it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. I feel like you reach a point. I mean, I've sung Mr. Snow a million times, so I feel like you just kind of reach a point where you let go and let God and you just kind of trust it and you go with it and whatever happens, happens. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to get back to my acting classes now and like continue working on things and I'm super excited for to like start auditioning again and see what people think maybe I'll get my ass kicked maybe I won't who knows but um yeah New York is not dead people all right you guys thanks for watching I am starving so I'm getting off of here okay bye have a good night bye